Americans know about El Paso because we're constantly in the national spotlight because of our place as a major border city. And immigration and border security are among the biggest topics in this year's presidential race. But the attention is often negative, with news headlines like crisis at the border and migrants overwhelm the border. So in tonight's Tough Questions, I ask El Paso tourism officials, how do they respond to all the negative attention the borderland gets? Once I get you to El Paso, I don't worry about it because I know that you're going to fall in love with the city and it happens over and over again. But getting visitors here is among the biggest challenges employees at the city's tourism agency, Destination El Paso, say they face. Obviously a visitor because she's looking around and she's got this puzzled look and I said, what can I help you find? She goes, I'm looking for the entrance to the Museum of Art. So I showed her and I said, where are you visiting from? And she said she's a flight attendant. She goes, but I definitely don't want to go that way because I heard it's dangerous and um, I want to avoid that. I, like, I don't want to accidentally cross into Mexico. A lot of people from other parts of the country only know El Paso as a border crossing that has to respond to migrant surges and cartel violence. A decade ago, the national news media focused on Juarez as the world's deadliest city because of all the killings tied to drug cartel turf wars, despite the fact that just across the Rio Grande, El Paso ranked as America's safest big city. Now reporters thousands of miles from here are focused on the record number of migrant encounters the U.S. Border Patrol reported last year. Honestly, I welcome the, the question. As soon as that first hand goes up for a convention bid or any sort of presentation we're making, let's, let's uh, tackle the elephant in the room. And the wonderful thing is that we monitor all these statistics and accolades on behalf of the city, and this is a great opportunity to get out in front of them. Brooke Underwood, the executive director of Visit El Paso, says she always points out how El Paso is continuously ranked as one of the safest big cities in the U.S. for decades. And because we're a crossroads encompassing two countries and three states, the Sun City is more welcoming than most communities. But she says her biggest goal is to get people to visit here first so they can see for themselves. The first thing they do is, well, that airport was super easy to come in and out of. I mean, that, that, was, that took no effort at all. And I go, that's great. And you probably flew in on a low fared carrier and it didn't break the bank. No, you're right. And how long did it take you to get downtown? Well, it only took 12 to 15 minutes tops, and I go, gosh, and we'll complain about that commute. Of course, the news headlines about El Paso can also draw people to the borderland who are curious about what life is really like along the border. And that's another way locals can dispel myths about immigration and the border.